Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Wednesdays in the Word on FreeCCM.com. My name is Todd Ballard, and for the past few weeks we've been going over Philippians chapter 4, which I believe has a great outline of how we should live our lives as Christians. We'll finish up Philippians chapter 4 this week with verses 14 through 23. We'll start off with verse 14. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts. What I desire is that more be credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I have received Ephrodites, the gift you sent. They are a fragrant offering and an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. Paul was so gracious to people who went out of their way to give to him. Uh, I have to believe that in, in our lives, there, there are people in our lives that could really uh, benefit from the resources that we have, whether that's from our finances or our time. I know there are homeless shelters that always need volunteers. The church always needs volunteers. Uh, there's always somebody in, in different scales of needs when it comes to finances. And I have to believe that that's what God called us to do is give whatever that means, give of our resources, whatever that looks like. I encourage you to do that. You can't, you can't fail by doing that, giving to the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He finishes up with verse 19 uh, on his thoughts there, and he says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches for his, of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Paul says that when you give with a cheerful heart and you want to bless somebody other than yourself, then then God will just, he'll he'll supply all your needs. He'll take care of everything that you ever needed. They'll all come from him. When we give of our time and we give of our resources, God will make sure our needs are met. So I wanted to create an outline when we started uh, for you to kind of just look at on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, whatever, whatever the case may be. And so... Here's the outline that we've went through uh, over the past four weeks. And it goes like this. The first one, uh, he talks about making amends, forgiving and moving on. Remember those two ladies at the beginning of of, uh, of Philippians chapter 4 who were in the gospel, but they were fighting amongst each other. He's like, move on, forgive each other. Secondly, rejoice because he's already won the victory. The third one, be gentle and loving. The fourth one, don't worry. Begin to trust in Him. Don't be anxious about anything. The the fifth one is give thanks because He deserves to to be praised. Let's just go to Him and thank Him first before we bring any of our requests to Him. The the sixth one is peace. He he promises a peace that will come into our lives that will go past any of our understanding. And we're so thankful for that. The seventh one is is we've got to keep our minds on pure thoughts. We have to filter out the bad things and keep the good things and put those down in our heart. The eighth point that we learned was apply what we've been taught to our lives. The words that come from from the Bible and the words that come out of the pastor's mouths on Sundays, apply those to your life. The Word of God is real and it's alive and it will affect your life, I promise you. The ninth point was learn to be content, whatever that looks like. Stop worrying about what, what other people have and what they don't have or what have you. Let's just look and say, God, you are the one who supplied all my needs and I'm content with wherever you have me. The tenth one is all things are possible through him who gives us strength. There's no obstacle that you can't face and get through as long as you have him because he's the one who gives you the strength to get through those obstacles in, in these circumstances and lives. And, and the eleventh one is when we give, all of our needs are met through Him. Uh, I hope this outline helps you for years and years and years, me being in the ministry. I have read this, this chapter probably more than any chapter in the entire Bible. And, and I just believe it has so much. There's like a wealth of knowledge in here. And these points are, man, let me forgive. Let me remember to rejoice. Let me be gentle and loving. Let's not, let me not worry, God. I want to give you thanks. And you'll give peace and keep my mind thoughts uh, pure and 
apply all these things to my life. And it just goes on. I think it's going to be so helpful for your life. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. I want to say thank you to FreeCCM.com for allowing me to do this. And uh, I hope this really helps you and benefits you. If, if you haven't heard any of my CD or anything from, from this new album called Anthems, it's a worship album. Feel free to check out ToddBallard.com. And you can hear some samples there and read a little bit more about what God's doing in my life. Thanks again, and God bless.